Then you see someone else and you're like, wait, I could have done better. <laughs> and, and the realization that your true love is human. Right. And we'll find other things attractive and may sleep. And you need to have the internal mechanisms mm -hmm. to be able to cope with that heartache wow. is critical. Yeah. So one of the exercises that one of my friends uh, mm. told me about mm -hmm. is when you get married, can you imagine yeah. that your spouse, you find your spouse red-handed? What is your reaction? Right. Because if you do not have the emotional wherewithal mm -hmm. to handle that situation correctly, right. Right. you can end up dead. You can end up in prison. You can end up miserable. It's so, true. So you need to be competent in relationships before yeah. you find this so-called true love. It's true. Yes. And I think, you know, because there are so many aspects to a human being, mm -hmm. you can be so mature <laughs> yes. in one area of your life, but mm -hmm. completely immature in a different aspect. Mm -hmm. And even when I look at someone like a character in your book, like Kay, yes. who you have described as the one person who got away or kind of just broke your heart yes. into pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to handle heartbreak is such a challenge for even someone who is as big as a CEO yes. or an MD. Yes. I mean, you're doing so well in the office, <laughs> but you cannot just walk around mm. a heartbreak. Yep. You, you look, at, look at it this way. Yeah. If you go and look at all the celebrities we knew in the 90s, yeah. and look at the ones who failed at life, mm -hmm. most of them failed at relationships first. Yeah. Look at Mike Tyson. He had a fight the mm -hmm. other day. Look at how he lost 640 million US dollars yeah. through divorces, mm -hmm. through a, a romantic relationship that mm -hmm. turned into a rape allegation, got him <laughs> in prison. Look yeah. at look at yes. R. Kelly yeah. and, and the ability to govern your heart. Right. And, and, and what most people don't understand mm -hmm. is we get into relationships mm -hmm. with our prepubescent pre selves. Right. We don't get into relationships with our adult selves, mm -hmm. which is why mm -hmm. you will realize that you can have a very unreasonable argument with your lover, yeah. but have a very reasonable argument with your boss. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. why didn't you pour me tea can yeah. be an argument in your house. <laughs> why are you and leaving in, your socks on the ground? Yes. Yeah. But in, in your office, mm -hmm. you seem to be more mature. And that's because mm -hmm. we've not invested the time to actually grow up yeah. in, in the matters of relationships. Wow. And I hear a lot of people saying, you know what, I want to focus on my career, so I'm not going to date. What you're actually doing is you're setting yourself up mm -hmm. to be absolutely incapable of choosing <laughs> someone when the time is right. Because right. if you don't know what is right or wrong, how are you going to choose? That's so true. you end up in this cycle where you yeah. say, I get the worst men. Yeah. All men are dogs. No, no, no. Yeah. You're just competent in yeah. choosing dogs. <laughs> That's your core competence. <laughs> that is so mean. And speaking of which, by the way, mm -hmm. now you've got that category of people, and you even mentioned it in your introduction, mm. that this book is more or less dedicated to the 1% mm. who believe in true love, that love truly does exist. Yes. So a lot of us have already given up. Mm -hmm. And we refuse to understand that my journey and your journey are different yes. in finding our soulmates. Mm -hmm. You truly believe, well, even if it's taken you five years, six years, your soulmate <laughs> is still out there. Why should I not give up? You see, the, 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 the reason why you should never give up mm -hmm. is because hope springs eternal. Yeah. And, and, and why it's important to understand that is the definition of what is right for Shiko mm -hmm. can never be put in a textbook yeah and and this is the problem that we have mm -hmm. we we have um instagram and social media that has taught us what a perfect relationship is right. okay and then we've got victorian expectations mm -hmm. of what a good relationship is so yeah. for example if you've been married 20 years mm -hmm. before you even find out what the quality of these 20 years has been yeah. people will congratulate you mm -hmm. because we know length of time whether yeah. it is suffering or paradise <laughs> is a good thing yes. so it is about realizing yeah and 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 let me give you an analogy mm -hmm. about what love is like yeah. Love is like living in a bed sitter mm -hmm. with a, an internal toilet, yeah. okay? Your comfort in that bed sitter mm -hmm. is relative to how many times you flush. Mm -hmm. 
the more you forget to flush, mm -hmm. the worse your bed sitter is to sit in. <laughs> right. So relationships are like that. Mm -hmm. The more you're willing to flush away the bad, the more you're willing to forgive, oh, the wow. mo more willing you're willing to restart, yeah. the fresher and better your relationship is. Oh. Because one of the things that people don't realize mm -hmm. is the perfect person for you yeah. does not them make it does not make them a perfect person. Right. They are still messy. Yes. And therefore, just like business, uh -huh. everyone knows in business how to make a profit. Right. But very few know how to manage the risks mm -hmm. attendant to making that profit. Mm -hmm. You see, your grandmother knows she buys potatoes at 100, sells yeah. at 200. Yeah. But a business person is the one who knows mm -hmm. between this 100 and 200, I have transportation, I have sales charges, yeah. I have to go compete with the cartels in the market. Relationships are the same way. Mm -hmm. You get the perfect person, they have very unique flaws yeah. that you need to have the capacity to handle. Absolutely. If, if you get into a relationship because yeah. they make you smile and they make you laugh, yeah. wrong direction. Mm -hmm. You need to get into a relationship yeah. with the ability to say, uh -huh. I can handle their mess. And you know, you brought up a very interesting aspect before mm. we got on air, mm. that love through, from the African perspective is very one-dimensional. Yes. Uh, can you explain what that means uh, <laughs> so that, you know, we can actually put into context mm. what we see every single day and perhaps how that is actually shaping our thought or our perception on what true love is? Okay, let me, yeah. let me give you a very African modern yeah. uh, reality, okay? Assume a man or a woman who's been divorced five times. Yeah. And assume a man or a woman mm -hmm. who is an, in an open relationship for 10 years. Yeah. Who is the lesser sinner? Mm-hmm. Who, who's... That's a tough one. Exactly. Yeah. Because <laughs> our, our understanding mm -hmm. of what true love is and yes. how it is expressed mm -hmm. is shepherded into a singular narrative. Okay? So, for example... If someone stands and says mm -hmm. that I've been with my spouse for 30 <coughs> years yeah. and I have never strayed, we all clap. Mm -hmm. But what is the quality of life of that spouse? Mm -hmm. Are they satisfied in the bedroom? Yeah. Are they, do they feel appreciated? Mm -hmm. Do they feel free to be themselves? Right. Or are they prisoners of this relationship? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so... The, the dimensions mm -hmm. and, and, and the very many angles to which a relationship can take yeah. has been reduced to vumilia. Yes, <laughs> that right? is true. Yes. And by the way, how many times are we told, even by your aunties when you go for your hen's mm. night, or even for you gentlemen at your bachelor parties, I mean, your uncles, your grandfather, your grandmother will tell you, Yes, and, and, and that's, that's a problem. Yeah. Because... You see, even if unavumilia, mm. there must be a prize at the end. And, and let me use a Christian say. Yeah. You know, people always say we must follow Jesus and alivumilia. Yeah. But it says for the glory set before him, mm -hmm. Christ endured the cross. That means mm -hmm. you are not supposed to suffer if there's no glory. <laughs> But wait, the reward is people clapping for, for you no. after 50 years. You eat clap. <laughs> you, you and I are well known in Kenyan society. Does right. it pay your bills? No, that's true. When people the greet you, and they're like, Shiko, hi. Yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't. But at the end of the day, yeah. your perseverance must be targeted to achieve something. Mm -hmm. and, and you must, and, and it goes back to my analogy. Yeah. When you get into a, a relationship, you must assess your competence mm -hmm. to clean up the mess. Yeah. Because this person will mess up. Mm -hmm. Whether it is a proclivity to lose gadgets, and yeah. you have to have it in your budget at every year, I've got mm -hmm. to buy this one a new phone. Yes. Or the proclivity for them to misspend money. So yes. you've got to know mm -hmm. how. So you've got to understand that the person you're with yeah. will be like that for a while. Mm -hmm. And you need to assess your ability to handle their mess instead yeah. of the ability to make you happy. Wow, and I think it's at this point we should even ask our viewers. By the way, if you've been married more than a year, please, <laughs> <laughs> let's not have newlyweds just yet. Two years. Two years at yeah, least. I, yeah, but I'm I know, right? <laughs> like, let's hear some of the secrets to a good marriage. What has really kept you going past the two-year mark, you know? Uh, I think we would also love to know. So why don't you call in? Uh, our question of the day, though, is quite simple, and we're simply asking, does true love exist? 
exist? Do you believe that it exists? Okay, so we've got quite a number of text messages. Let's hear what Kenyans have to say. Um, hi, Shiko. Uh, oh, hi, guys. Show Ikoju in uh, Rita Kisumo. You must love yourself first before you're able to love and receive love from others. Okay, True. all right, good point. Uh, true love is like ghosts, which everyone talks about. There is no one, uh, yet no one has seen it. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, K24. I used to believe in love, but not anymore. Seeing what's happening in today's dating and marriage, uh, marriage world is sickening. People seem to come together just for fun and not love. I am actually in marriage just to push time. Oh my God. And maybe hope one day it will be better. Having a drunkard and a cheater for a husband is the worst I would wish on my daughter. I am there, come a true love equal, then maybe in the next world. Wow. I think that is so heartbreaking. Yes. But put a pin on that one. Uh, Mark will talk about that. Godfrey from Ruai, I don't believe in love because it really hurts <laughs> when you break up for the first time especially. And then there he goes <laughs> laughing at the end. <laughs> But, I mean, let's focus on that text mm. message from the lady who's married, and we're so sorry she didn't leave her name, mm. uh, and, you know, understandably so. Yes. But this is what you're talking about. Yeah. It's like, what is the quality of your relationship? Yes. Sawa, you're in marriage, mm. but then? Yes. And, and, and you see, she has to ask herself the question. Yeah. That she's married to a drunk and a cheat. Mm -hmm. There's someone else who's married to a gambler. Yes. There's someone else who's married to someone who's so committed to religion. Yeah. They, 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 they consummate in one position, thanking <laughs> God. And, and, and every, yeah. every marriage has its issues. Yeah. And, and here's how it works. Mm -hmm. Generally in life, there's a 20% mm -hmm. that becomes worse and worse with time. Mm. Okay? So uh, my, my dad told me this before I got married, and it's probably the wisest piece of advice I ever got. And mm -hmm. he told me, that before you get married, the things that are wrong in your mind with mm -hmm. your spouse are, not, are an irritation. Yeah. When you get married, they are an obsession. Oh, wow. It, it, it clouds the entire view mm -hmm. of what this person becomes. Right. So if, if for example, you, 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 you take the question of a drunk. You know, mm -hmm. drunk is a very relative term. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a couple I know. Yeah that divorced because the wife found one bottle of Heineken. And when the husband was asked, because they, they were Christians, and when the husband was asked, he said, when I'm stressed, I take this one bottle maybe once a month. And she was like, you've betrayed the oh Christianity. My God. And I'm really, so you, you, need, you need to understand yeah. that the person you are with, mm -hmm. you are there to be the one to fix their mess. Mm -hmm. N notice how funny love is. Mm -hmm. When a child yeah. in a supermarket mm -hmm. has soiled their clothes, mm -hmm. the rest of us pinch our noses and say, oh my goodness, that's a horrible smell. Yeah. The mother mm -hmm. runs to the child to fix the mess. Mm -hmm. But in relationships, right. we act like strangers to the baby in the diaper. Mm -hmm. But we call each other baby. Mm -hmm. But when baby <laughs> does an adult mess, yeah. you pinch your nose and you say, why don't you meet my standard? Right. Those are some of the ideas that you have to change. Right. Because if you're going to be partners, mm -hmm. partnership is about being the person yeah. who fixes the you're, person. You're, 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 you're my backup. Man. Yes. Yeah. You've yeah. got to have you're my, my six. Wingman. Exactly. Yeah. So unless you develop that kind of partnership, yeah. you cannot grow in, in love. Mm -hmm. it, it, it cannot happen. Which yeah. is why one of the core competencies mm -hmm. of finding true love mm -hmm. is having the ability of having your heart broken yeah. and having the temerity to love again. Right. And you know, it's funny because, um, you know, we tend, we say fine, yes, we are Christians, majority of us at <laughs> least. And when you go to church and you listen to, of course, the sermonette uh, before vows are exchanged, mm. you're told love is kind, mm. love is patient, yes. love is all these different Long things. Long-suffering. Yes. But Covers <laughs> a multitude of sins. But the question is, how many of us actually take time to dissect and understand what it means by being patient? What it means to be kind? Yes. What it means to be long-suffering. <laughs> because yes. the best definition of long-suffering mm -hmm is putting the words the other way, mm. suffering for long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know? yeah. and, and one of the things, and, and, and I, I, I must qualify this mm. statement, yeah. that it does not mean mm -hmm. 
that you sit there to be abused and misused. Yeah. But it means that you must, in that process of suffering, yes. be the solution mm -hmm. versus being the victim. And, mm -hmm. and that's the difficulty of marriage. Right. It is easy to be the victim. It is easy to be the person, I am always left to clean up after you. Yeah. I am always the one to pay the bills. Yeah. You don't leave the toilet seat up. You mm -hmm. don't clean the... You know, and all of those issues yeah. where... You, 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 you are the victim asking for your rights. Mm -hmm. But you need to flip it. And it's a, yeah. double, it's a double tragedy. Because, yeah. number one, you've got to overcome victimhood. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to become the hero right. in that relationship to turn it mm -hmm. around. That, that's the biggest challenge. Now, yeah. if you can partner mm -hmm. to become the people who turn each other's, around, mm -hmm. each other's messes around, yeah. then you found true love. You get, so yeah. true love is not, oh, he finishes my sentences. <laughs> true love is we've become partners yeah. in fixing what is wrong mm -hmm. with me in you and you in me. Absolutely. You know, and, yeah. and that's really the journey. It's, yeah. And it's, it's, it's a difficult journey. Yeah. You know. So and you, you think twice. You're like, okay, wait a minute. Do I really want to do this with exactly. you for life? <laughs> and that's, that's the most important yes. thing. Yes, yes. You've got to figure out this person's mess. Yeah. Is it a mess I'm willing to? To, to put up with. with yes you know that's the question by the way in fact they always say just ask can you put up with this person's s h i t <laughs> okay <laughs> yes yes because <laughs> everyone you, yes. see, you see one of the best things you realize yes is that everyone goes to the toilet <laughs> and it smells <laughs> and it really really stinks it yes. doesn't matter how pretty they are. So yes. The question is, yes. can you be in the room next door? <laughs> Valentine is on the phone. Let's hear what Valentine has to say. Oh, it seems like we lost her. Uh, apologies. Valentine, please call us back. We'd love to hear your thoughts on today's discussion. Mm. Um, okay, let's take a look at WhatsApp. Uh, my director tells me there's quite a number that have come in. Uh, it seems like people are loving you, Mark. <laughs> Currently, true love doesn't exist, Shiko. The boys and girls of today think a relationship should be an investment. When this doesn't happen, they keep on knocking relationship doors. Ni Steve kutoka Homa Bay. All right, and then he goes and say, then again, comparison also may do away with our relationship. You cannot want to date like somebody if you're not sitting in the same capacity. True. Okay, okay. All right, true love is there. It's only a matter of accepting one another's, flaw, uh, fl another's flaws. Mapenzi ni kupendana si, sio kuvumiliana. George Nzoro from Rabai Kilifi County. Love is a scam. True love doesn't exist. There is always someone, <laughs> some stimulus attached to any relationship. Okay. Marriage is a good thing. It's a wonderful institution. Trust, love, and faithfulness are the key pillars of our marriage. It has taken us a long, long time. Above all, God has been Ebenezer. It's three years now. Teacher from Kericho. Okay. Thank you so much for I, that. I like, I like how he says three years is a long time. <laughs> Tells you what he's going through. <laughs> but now look at people who seem to be stuck mm. in a moment. Yes. And you're stuck in that heartbreak. Yes. Um, I know this probably goes back to the point that you were speaking about, mm. but why don't you address the individual who says love is a scam? There's always something attached to it. More, or more so, love is a transaction. Mm. You it, well, know? We do live in a very transactional mm. uh, society now. Yeah. And, and there is an inherent danger with transaction. Mm. I, I, I'll give you an example. There is someone uh, quite famously on, was it this year or last year on yeah. Facebook, um, who said that I like the expensive life, I like to eat very well. Mm -hmm. And then he was asked, where do you like to eat? And then he said KFC. <laughs> now, <laughs> right. Of course, that's hilarious. Yeah. But you see... The, the problem with the transactional relationship mm. is that there's always a better deal. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. if, if you are looking at beauty as a form of currency, there's always someone more handsome yeah. and more pretty. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at money as a form of transaction, right. if a guy buys your Pro Box, there's another one who can buy your Mercedes, there's another one who can buy you a Ferrari. Yeah. And, and if you look at it, then you're always looking beyond. Mm. 
But then the question that uh, begs is, yeah. why then should I stick in a relationship that yields no dividend for me? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the truth of the matter is mm. that there is no relationship you can have, even with God, yeah. that yields no dividend. Right. Because whichever way you look at it, you expect something from God, and God expects fruit from you. Yeah. You, you, you cannot remove... Mm -hmm the transactional nature yeah. of a relationship because mm -hmm. when we relate the, the even questions deserve answers right. and things like that mm -hmm. so the, the issue is this yeah you've got to understand yeah what quality you want mm -hmm. out of your relationship yeah versus what quantity you want out of a relationship okay. and this is the problem mm -hmm. you see your quantitative life yeah. is an outward life you go and do business you get money you go and do a career and you get money mm -hmm. you go to school you get a degree yeah. and you must live your quantitative life uh -huh. hold only that in, thought oh, hold, sorry. sorry hold that thought because yes. of nick uh, from narok is actually on the line hold that thought <laughs> nick good morning yeah Hi. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Chico. Karibu sana. Yes. Uh, Niko, Niko na Swali. Yeah, hey, Uliza. Uh, Niko, nimekuwa kwa relationship. Niko na big wife. Aha. Uh -huh. Wife, nime, we have been together for, for the last seven years. Okay. Then the problem is, mm -hmm. is I used to stay in Morocco and she is at home. Okay. Then uh, when I went home, mm -hmm. the, uh, I, the lady don't want, we don't want to spend a night at the same bed. She didn't want to do what? Oh, oh okay, okay. To, to kai kwa bed. Oh, okay, aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, well, so, uh huh. Kama ni meenda huko majaribu ku, unajua ta singine unataka ku, kwa na mimi kwa kwa na wife yani yeah. in enter mm -hmm. na kata for the last one year mhm mm then baada ya hiyo mhm mm tunarudi tu okay alafu and then from there mhm ana niambia ana amechoka mimi i have to go back to work okay okay uh, Nick, thank yeah. you so much. Uh, Nimeshika Swaliako. He's, uh, I mean, we'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment. But uh, thank you for calling in. Uh, we will address Nick uh, when we get back from a short commercial break. Uh, remember, we're actually talking about uh, the journey to true love. What is true love indeed? We are engaging Mark Bichachi today. And of course, the conversation is based on his book that we've got right here in studio known as Finding Eden. Okay, we'll be back. Keep talking to us through our social media platforms at K24TV.